Machine Dragon Arrow signing in. Hey everyone, I'm back once again with a brand new video. This one I've been playing out for a while now. As you can see here, I have a very, very old, yet still beautiful, 1994 or 3, Nala, Cub Nala from The Lion King. Now, for those of you who don't know, The Lion King is my favorite, all time favorite, Disney and animated animal star movie of all time. It has a lot, it has a lot of good with it. It has a few down points, but we'll get to those later. Before anyone asks, this is not a review of the figure, it's not a review of the movie, but it's an idea I've been thinking about for months now. Close to a year. Or at least a year or so. Anyway. I've been thinking about, you know, every time I go to the Dollar General or Walmart, or, you know, I found a figure like this, I keep thinking to myself, why do we only have these kinds of Lion King figures? Nala here only has about six parts of articulation. And, you know, you know, it's okay, but it's okay for the 1990s. We're in 2018, going on 19. And the Lion King being one of the few, and I mean one of the few movie franchises, to get called back into theaters. How many times now? Three times it's been called back into the theaters? How many stage performances? God only knows. How many times has The Lion King been released on Blu-ray, Diamond Edition, everything? It has, you know, several spin-off movies, some series, and some we will not talk about. But I mean, we got a lot of great stuff from The Lion King. We got hats, we got shirts, we got cups, we got, we got all kind of stuff. But what we don't have from The Lion King... What we don't have, but but we deserve. What we deserve to get and should get are up to date, modified, beautiful Lion King action figures. Now, you guys know it. When you go to the store, like Dollar General or Family Dollar, or even Walmart, you know you see some Lion King figures, but they're stiff. They're stiff as a board. Like, unfortunately, poor Nala here. Now, I don't mean to sound like I'm hating on anything, because I'm not. It's going to sound like it, but I'm not. But you see, guys, I, I've been thinking about it, you know. There's this toy company working out, you know, making Disney figures. Well, more like, um, um, uh, Kingdom Hearts, yeah. They made some Kingdom Hearts, like Sora, Goofy, Donald. And a few others, I believe. Well, I was thinking, you know, what if these guys, what if Disney talked to them and said, hey, can you guys go ahead and start putting out some Lion King figures for us? I mean, one of their gross, highest grossing films after all these years. And like what? It, what's it been like, 22 years or, or more? Nearly 25 years? Because I'm 25 and the Lion King's been around for a long, uh, almost as long as me. Or we've been out around similar times. The Lion King is around my age, okay? Okay, for, for for almost 26 years, Lion King's been around. Or at least that. But seriously, here, here's some ideas I have, guys. Here's some ideas. My ideas are these for, you know, ha have them in scale with each other. Have the figures made by SH Figure Arts, you know, some kind of Japanese company. Yeah, SH Figure Arts, because they make some pretty decent figures. They really do beautiful paint, beautiful... Sculpting, articulation, everything. You could you can make stop their stop motion movie makers their place to go. Or you know, talk um, talk to Hasbro, have them put out more Disney have them put out Disney figures. They're making Marvel and Marvel's now owned by Disney, so talk to them. Get us some good stuff. But um uh, here's what I prefer. If Disney talks to SH Figure Arts about making some Lion King figures. Here's what I have in mind. First, have the figures in scale with each other as best as best you can. Uh, 
maybe have the figures, you know, um, ha have, have the Cubs, you know, as big as Nala right here. Have them as big as Nala, I think. And the adults, don't make them like a, an inch or two bigger. Have the adults around four inches tall on all four. And have them be able to stand up on their hind legs. Because, you know, they, the lions did fight like that in the movie. No, not Bruce Lee fighting. Although that would have been so cool. But, no. Have them be able to rear up on their hind legs and tear at each other. Um, okay, let's start from the ground up. First, first articulation for the wrists. Arti you know, for the toes. Um... Articulation at the wrist, I think, would also be good. You know, for prop, no, uh, I guess it all depends on how they make the foot. Um, definite elbow joint, possibly double joint it. If it's single joint, I, I can forgive it. Obviously, in the shoulder, uh, able to go, you know, able to go up as high as it can so we can go for. Able to go up and wide for a wide strike. Definite body articulation. Um, I don't know about tail. Maybe some small ball, ball joints for tail. I think if SH Monsters can do it for their figures, I'm sure. I have no doubt in my mind, figure arts can do the same thing. Um, obviously, you know body joint in two parts that we can get them hunched over sit, sitting and whatnot and I'll also get them in various cat poses definitely in the neck and you know, right around the head articulated jaw an articulated jaw would be nice now um also, yeah, an articulate jaw would be pretty would be pretty cool. I also have another idea. Um, swappable paws. Now the accessories. Um, swappable paws for the front, to where they can have regular paws, or have them uh, grabbing onto something. Uh, have. Get them to have claws. You know, Nala and Simba. Get them to have claws. Uh, same thing for Kiara and Kobu and Vitani. And and Kion too. We can't we cannot forget about Kion. Alright. Uh, one day I'm gonna go through all the characters and, and all one by one of what I like to see from them. You know, with accessories. Uh, this is a quick video. Of just running down ideas. Um, where was I? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, get, also give them interchangeable heads. Like, give them a smiling, give them a, a, an annoyed, and you know, Nala had a. Whenever she kept pinning Simba, she had a, a sly smile. Give her a head with that kind of smile. Also, give her an articulated jaw. That way she can even show off her teeth. Like that, I just saw that some Transformer figures did that with the re, their recent, recently released Dinobot. I've seen other figures that, like the ones who make the Final Fantasy, they had that for Red 13. I'm sure they could do it for this guy, for, for these guys. Um, what else, what else, what else? I can't think of too much else, you know. Get, get them iconic facial features. Articulated jaws, I would think they could open up, talk, whatever. Um, for Simba, he would probably have to come with, you know, give him the head sculpt with with the caterpillar, with him sucking down the caterpillar. Uh, that's going to get me in trouble for something saying that like that. And, you know, give him certain facial expressions. Ex ah, <laughs> I can't talk. You know, give them iconic facial stop, facial pictures or head sculpts. Iconic facial head sculpts. Each of them. Um, 
you know, their their smiles, uh, their looks of, of fear, you know. Um, if only I could edit, I would show you guys screenshots of the facial features I want to see for for future Lion King figures. That that would be so cool. Well, let's move on to Adult Nala. For Adult Nala, same thing. Articulation in the wrists, swappable paws, articulation in, in the whole body. And have them stand have her stand like a little uh let's see. Have her stand higher than this. I like say maybe a two two inches higher or three no no. At least maybe you know, four, three or four inches higher. You know, have the cubs obviously smaller than the than the adults and you know shorter. Not as long. You know, have them have have them in scale with each other. You know, have have them in scale with each other. You'll probably get them around a five inches tall line or so. Because um Timon is a small character and he would have to go ahead and be done right. You know, he he would need some, or maybe you know, if if it was be deemed necessary, have them around the six inch figure line. I I would I would honestly accept that. Because um, yeah, some of the figures would be small. Like Timon would be a small Uncle Max, Timon's mom. Some of the meerkats. You know. Um, you know, the, the members of the guard, you know, get, give them all iconic facial features, you know, expressions and all, articulate jaws, especially for the adults, um, give them articulate jaws and swappable heads where they smile, where they're just mad or confused or upset, um, even swappable heads with aggression, you know. Yeah, swappable heads with facial features, and for some of them, articulated jaws, especially for their attacking heads. And, you know, I know they can do it. I, I know they can do it because they released a figure for Judy Hobbs, and she's she's very articulated. She looks great. The figure looks fantastic. I might go ahead and buy it one day. So they can do it for Judy Hopps and Zootopia, who is who's still, um, like what, a year in? Zootopia has only been around for a year now, a year or two. So Lion King deserves this. Gradually work in the Lion Guard, you know, and give us all the characters from the Lion King. You know, uh, Nala, Simba, Mufasa, Sarabi, Sarafine, Scar. Who else? Who else? Oh yeah, Kiara, Kovu, Kion, Vitani, Nuka, Zira. You know some of Zira's pride. Uh, some members of, you know, Simba's pride. Now, now I know some of you are probably wondering why am I leading with Nala. Well, to be honest, Nala is my all-time favorite Lion King character. She is. Uh, she's my all-time favorite listed Lion King character. Now, um, for the non-canon, yeah, for the non-canon characters, we have several. Well, they're canon, but th we never seen them in actual movies, which is unfortunate. We have my favorite non-canon Lion King character, Nala's little brother, Me Too. From everything I can gather, Me Too is either a very light cream-colored lion like Nala, only he's like Nala, only he has much brighter or deeper blue eyes, uh, a lighter cream color fur, which is beautiful, or he's also been depicted as being a white lion with blue eyes. That would be so cool to, to get me too as a white lion, the only white lion in the Lion King series with blue eyes. That would be, that'd be spectacular. Also, we had 
other Lion King characters who were supposed to be in the movie. We have Malka, who's the jokester, Tama, the fireball, Kula, the chow house, uh, Chunvi, a competitive, a very competitive lion, it was so great to be around, and Tojo, uh, he's earned a title Prince of Birds. He's a bit of a sweetheart, from what I can tell. Also, um, also part of the non-canon, Aheda, Mufasa's father, Euro, his mother, having them would be awesome. And think about it, it would open up a huge, a huge reign of possibilities for customizations and everything, especially Lion King characters who don't really have a name, uh, like Dottie and Spotty. Well, let's get them too. You know, let's get teenage versions of, you know, Batani, Nuka and them. All complete with articulation, bunch of accessories. Timon and Pumbaa, cannot forget about them. Uh, Uncle Max, Timon's mom, uh, some of the Meerkat clan, the hyenas, and, you know, the other members of the Lion Guard. You know, like Disney, come on. I know you guys are listening. You guys monitor everything to do with your stuff. So if anyone from Disney is watching this video, please talk to someone about this. And if you guys want to go ahead and hear more about my ideas, like accessory-wise, you know, even a play set or two, you know, you can hit me up on my channel. Um, I'm also on Skype on a Machine Dragon 1. I'm also on Amino. Still on a Machine Dragon. You can go ahead and you can find me there. I'm going to go ahead I'm do what I can to get better. One of the fastest ways to get a hold of me is right here on YouTube. And if you want to hear anything I got to say, I can give you some great ideas, guys. I mean, think about it. Think of how much you can invest in it and how much you can get back for it. I mean, my people, humans. If you want to go ahead and see some Lion King figures, some highly articulated and beautiful looking Lion King figures with accessories, please. Um, what a, oh, what's a good way to send off? What's a good way? What's a good way? Let me think. Let me think. Um, leave me a roar down in the comments below. Yeah. If any of you guys out there, video makers, Lion King fans, Stop motion movie makers, Lion King collectors, anybody who loves Lion King and loves making videos just like me over here, leave me if you want to go ahead and see articulated, accessory packed, beautiful, all out amazing Lion King figures. Please leave me a roar in the comment section below and I'll give you a like, a heart. If you want, we'll talk. Just whatever, guys, you know? Simple as that. So, if anyone from Disney is out there watching this video, please come talk to me. We can talk. I'm not looking for any kind of special deals. I'm just looking to give ideas and get the figures people want, people would love. You know, I promise you, not looking for any kind of budget deals. No, 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 nothing like that. But I mean, I, I'll just give out ideas and whatever. And you know, um, but yeah. Go ahead and, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you want to see some figures like I've been describing, leave me a roar down in the comment section below. You guys have a great day. Machine Dragon Nail, signing off. See you on the battlefield.